Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at Game Creator 2 extensions. We've got our first extension added with the last Game Creator update and we'll have a look at Unity Visual Scripting. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. Once we're inside of our project, we need to make sure that Game Creator is up to date. So for this extension, we will need Game Creator 2.0.5. So if you haven't updated yet, and you at least need that of course, press the update button and then you hit import. Then next up we will go to the Game Creator website and in the download section you will find Unity Visual Scripting. And honestly this is really awesome, I'm glad to see extensions being added to Game Creator 2, which will allow us to integrate other assets within Game Creator. So this is the very first one. Now you will, you will need Unity Visual Scripting installed inside of your project as well, but if you are using the latest beta, it should be installed. In case it's not and you're not entirely sure, we can go to the package manager again and check in project. If you see Unity Visual Scripting here, so just Visual Scripting, then we're good. If you don't see it for some reason or you removed it, you can go to Unity Registry and look it up here under, well, as you might have guessed, visual scripting. So let's get back to the website and we'll download this. Now, if you're not familiar with what Unity Visual Scripting is, this was previously called Bolt. It was a asset on the asset store, which Unity decided to buy and integrate inside of Unity. And hence they've renamed it as well, which makes sense. So once we've downloaded that, we're going to open up the package and it will normally ask you to import it. Now obviously I already have it in my project, but all you have to do is click import. And you'll be able to find this under Game Creator and Extensions. And here we have it. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, you don't really have to do all that much. So next up, we're going to go to Window, we're going to go to Visual Scripting, Visual Scripting Graph. Create a new graph, and as you can see, I already had a couple, and I'll actually delete those, and we'll just do a new one. And the first time, this might actually take quite a bit longer, I do want to uh, mention that, so in case you're wondering, like, why is it taking so long for me? Is something going wrong? No, it's supposed to take a bit longer the first time, so that's completely normal. Then here we have our visual scripting graph. Now, if you're not familiar with how to use Unity Visual Scripting, or previously just known as Bolt, I'd suggest looking up, you know, the many, many videos on that, or at least documentation. Um, ever since Unity um, bought Bolt, um, there's a lot more documentation and videos on it. Um, I will say that it's, um, you know, it's less intuitive um, if you're not a coder. So if you're a coder, it will be pretty straightforward and intuitive. If you're not a coder, there's definitely a steeper learning curve. I do want to add that. Um, however, it's really cool that um, we obviously have Game Creator support in there now as well as this will allow for you know more options as there will always be things that you can't do um, with either one of the two so yeah that's pretty cool anyway let's get back to it so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, look for a uh, trigger um, trigger custom event and we're going to drag out we're going to grab the actions here and we're going to um, do a game object literal now we do have multiple options i'm just going to keep it simple and we're going to grab uh, drag a prefab in here um, one thing that you will note is that if you do not turn on i mean that's for me anyway and i'm definitely not a not an avid bolt user so you know i might be completely wrong but i got a message saying that this had to be turned on because otherwise it wouldn't work so that might be because there's no exit. Um, again, I don't really use um, Bolt myself. Um, but now that we have this, I might actually delve into it a bit more. Anyway, let's get back to it. So we need some actions. Now I set these up in my previous video and I'm going to remove the triggers uh, conditions 
um, actions and I'll just create a new one so interaction actions um, they will be the same simple instructions so we're just going to have wait three seconds and then we're going to do a jump um, which should be somewhere in here as well perfect now one of the things that we will need as well is to create a prefab out of this so I'm just going to drag it here which is a horrible folder and you should definitely create a separate prefab folder but a prefab folder but I won't be keeping this obviously so I don't really mind for now and we're going to go back to our graph and we're going to drag these in this you can do uh, scene references and variables just like you do with blackboards um, in the um, in the behavior module for example for game creator one um, but yeah this is uh, just the easiest way to do it really for now in this case so once we've done that um, we will also need to add something to our scene because something let me remove these um, something needs to tell this scene that we're going to trigger this graph so um, we have these here um, and I'm not going to touch them I'll just create a new object there we go and I'm going to add a script machine which is what you will need for the graph and we're going to open this up and it's going to reference the graph I just created now you don't have to do that you can also do an embed which means it will only be specific to that object um, but I don't want that I just want to use the entire graph and now that we've done that I'm going to hit play And we're going to wait three seconds and let's hope he actually and there we go he jumps and yeah that's it that's how you can uh, quickly use actions and conditions with um, with uh, you know unity's visual scripting graph now there's tons more you can do and obviously if you want to learn more about bold slash unity visual scripting definitely recommend looking up some uh, documentation some videos um, if you're only used to using Game Creator, I would like to warn you that the learning curve is a bit steep. Um, but, you know, it's obviously pretty impressive. There's a reason Unity bought it in the first place. Um, so it might be worth looking into if you think there are certain things you're missing right now. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's really awesome to see this type of integration here. Now, there's other ways to use this integration as well, which... We can use it the other way around as well. So in Game Creator, you'll be able to call out some of these variables. Now, variables obviously are something that Game Creator uses, but obviously Unity Visual Scripting uses these as well. And they're just called Unity Variables. And we've got them mentioned uh, a couple of times here. So as you can see, we have new graph variables. And if you want to call those out using Game Creator, you can do so as well. So we'll add a trigger and we'll add an instruction and now if we go to the complete bottom we will see visual scripting custom event um, and then visual scripting and you can draw out a variable so for example if we had some saved here which I didn't we can actually call these out we can call out an event name so it's pretty cool um, as you can see it worked both works both ways and if you're you know using bolts or unity visual scripting already and you want to combine and mix these two you now can and i'm really excited to see these type of integrations into game creator 2 hoping for tons more but we're off to a great start so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one